Hello and welcome to Garforth Academy's 2020 intake parents information presentation. I know things look a little bit different this year and we would certainly have liked to have met you all in person and to be able to deliver this information at our information evening. Unfortunately that's not possible this year but we still wanted to make sure that you got all the information we would have delivered to you on that night and hopefully answer some of the questions and queries that we know and that both yourselves and the young people who are joining us will have. You'll be hearing from key members of staff and you'll also have the opportunity to hear about some of the things that we offer here at the Academy and hopefully have a little bit more of an insight of what things will look like when your young person joins us. The pastoral care of our New Year 7 students will be overseen by myself, Mrs Wright, and the inclusion coordinator and the designated safeguarding lead for the Academy, and Mr Bramborough, he's the learning manager for the year group. Welcome to Garth Academy Virtual Parents Information Evening. I'm Anna Young, the Principal. We really hope that this is informative and answers some of the many questions you will have. Firstly, I wanted to say how disappointed we are to not be able to welcome you to the Academy before September. We always immensely enjoy meeting our New Year 7 students for the first time and getting to know them during our various transition activities in June, July. Secondly, I wanted to recognise the uncertainty and anxiety that these challenging circumstances may bring. The happiness and well-being of your son and daughter is paramount to us and we will be arranging a transition programme in September to support students in their early days at the Academy once we have received updated DfE guidance for September. We sent out a suggested reading list earlier in the term and we'd encourage your child to read as many books as possible from the list to keep their reading skills sharp over the summer. We want your son and daughter to be safe, secure and happy at Garforth Academy and very much hope that this is the start of a seven year journey with us. We pride ourselves on working hard to ensure effective partnerships between the Academy, home and our students. We will contact you through phone, letter and email and students planners. And if you have any concerns about anything, then please do contact us as soon as possible so we can solve any problems as quickly as possible and they don't build into a bigger issue. Garth Academy is a caring environment and we expect students and staff to work together to ensure high levels of achievement in all areas by ensuring all students can focus on learning. I make no apologies for the fact that we have very high standards and expectations of behaviour. We will challenge and sanction poor behaviour or behaviour that hinders the learning of others. We expect courtesy and respect at all times to both staff and peers. We also strongly believe in our students leaving us as well-rounded individuals ready to go and take their place in society and we encourage this through our 10 core values. These are the values we feel are vital to every young person and we ask students to complete as many as possible during their time with us by partaking in extracurricular activities, helping in the community and showing kindness and compassion to others. We will encourage and develop these with students during form time, assembly and life PSHE lessons. We want our students to be proactive and make a difference to others. Unfortunately, as in all schools, bullying does occasionally occur at the academy, but we will not tolerate it. Students, parents or carers need to report it to us as quickly as possible so it can be dealt with promptly and nipped in the bud. We want every one of our students to enjoy their time with us. Good attendance is critical to success. And we ask all students to strive to an attendance record of 97% or better and to avoid holidays during term time. I am very much looking forward to meeting your son and daughter in September and wish them well as they begin this new, exciting step in their education journey. Hello, this is Mrs Wright again. I'm going to take this opportunity now to talk to you a little bit more about the students who are going to be joining us. So we have 300 students joining us this year, 140 of them will be girls and 160 will be boys. Of the 300 students joining us, they will be coming from 31 different primary schools. So if your child is the only one coming from their school and they're a little bit nervous about that, please do reassure them that they are certainly not alone. We have a number of young people joining us who don't know anybody else at all. 
We do have 210 children joining us from our trust primary schools, but that means that there are 90 children joining us this year who come from outside the trust. The students are placed in 10 different mixed ability form groups of either 29, 30 or 31 students each. Please do be aware at this time that we do not place students together based on friendship groups. It's a really important part of their transition and about growing up that they can work with other students and that they make new friends. So please do not be upset or disappointed if they are not in a uh, place with their best friends. But again, reassure them that they will very quickly make new friends and that we are here to help them and support them with that. Each form group will study English, Math, Science, Technology and the Humanities, History and Geography. They will also study Art, Drama, Music. They'll have a lesson of RE and Life, ICT, PE or Games and they will each study a, a modern foreign language depending on which year half they have been placed in. So they will either study Spanish or French. In the practical subjects, so in Technology, in Art, in Drama and Music, the students are placed um, in smaller groups and they will be mixed within the forms in their year half. Each form group is looked after by a form tutor. This should be your first contact if you have any problems or any queries. I will be letting you all know which form you've been placed in before the end of the summer term. I'm now going to discuss some of the concerns that we know our Year 7 students have. Uh, in this section I will be covering uniform, planner, attendance, homework, support and any after school activities um, or extended services that we provide. We are very proud of our students here at Garforth Academy and I'm sure you will agree that they look incredibly smart when they arrive with us in the morning. All logoed uniform can be purchased from SPT uniforms which can be found on Main Street in Garforth. I have recently sent you all an order form and tape measure to assist you with your ordering. Wherever possible, they would prefer it for all orders to be made online this year. You'll find the details confirming how to do this on the letter I sent home. Starting from the top, we ask that students' hair is neat and tidy. We do not allow hair to be completely shaved below a grade 2. We do not allow any patterns, any lines or any unusual colours. We don't allow hair extensions or hair pieces. Hair may be worn down, however, please ensure that the student brings a bobble with them. For certain lessons, uh, the hair will need to be tied up for safety reasons. Students are not allowed to wear jewellery. We allow one small plane stood in the lower lobe and a watch. These are the only items permitted. Students are not allowed to have mobile phones with them in the academy. If they need to bring one with them for safety reasons on their journeys to and from home, they are able to hand them in on the morning and then collect them at the end of the day. If mobile phones are seen or heard during the school day, they are removed and a parent or carer must collect them from our reception. Makeup, nail varnish, false eyelashes and fake tan must also not be worn for school. Students will be asked to remove these if they arrive to school wearing them. Our uniform consists of a black blazer with a Delta logo on it, a white collared shirt. These do not have to be purchased from the uniform shop, but please do make sure that they are correct school shirts so that a tie can be correctly worn. The top button must always be fastened on them and they must also always be tucked in. So black trousers or a skirt, again purchased from the uniform shop. The Delta logo is clearly visible on the waistband. Students must not roll over the waistbands of the skirts and we ask please that you do not alter these items in any way other than to amend the length of the trousers if they are too long. Students must wear plain black or grey ankle socks or tights. Knee socks are not permitted. We do not allow pumps, trainers or van style shoes. Shoes must be plain black school shoes. Please do not buy expensive branded trainers as they will not be allowed and you will be contacted and asked to replace them. If you are not sure, please do contact me first. The list of PE kit can be found in the pack you received earlier this year. But again, the uniform shop will be very help, happy to help you if you have any queries regarding this and will certainly be able to direct you um, with what you need to purchase. During the winter months, students can wear a coat over their blazer to travel to and from the academy. Please do not purchase expensive coats as students do need to leave them in their form rooms and collect them at the end of the school day. So it really will only be for travelling to and from schooling. Please, please make sure all uniform items are labelled, particularly PE kits. If things are named, we can easily return them to students. As I'm sure you can imagine, when we have 1,500 students wearing the same uniforms, it's almost impossible to reunite students with their belongings when there are no names in them. The 
The student planner is a really vital piece of equipment and students do need to bring it with them every single day. Please can I ask that you help students out by checking their planner on a night. It's in here where they will record any homework that they've got, their timetable will be recorded in there and they will have a map to help them find the way around the academy. Again, it's really important that you check this on an evening and talk it through with them so you can see if they've had any homework set. We will be working with them to show them how to set things out correctly. It's also a really good tool for you to see how they've been doing that day. We do record positive comments in the planner and if you needed to make a note to any teachers, you can also write a note in there as well. Again, the students do have to have them with them every day, so please make sure when they're packing that bag on an evening that the planner is one of the first things that's put in there. One of the worries that I know students joining us in Year 7 have is usually around the amount of homework that they're going to be set. I do always say to them at this point, please do not worry about homework. You have to remember we do finish at 2.30 at the academy, which is usually around an hour earlier than they would have finished at primary. So they can complete their homework. We do have a really good homework club that's run every night in our independent learning centre. And I would certainly advise you to encourage your students to attend this. That way they can complete their homework the night that it's set. And then when they come home, they're free to play on their Xbox or to play football or do what other activities they would like to do. Please make sure, as I say earlier, you are checking their planner so you can help them make sure that the homework's completed. Try helping them out in the home by making sure there's a suitable space for them to work in. Try getting them into a decent routine. Do not leave homework until the night before it's due because that's when panic and worry sets in. Mention the homework club. It is open to all students and you don't have to book in. Students are welcome to go. It does run until 3.30 every afternoon. However, if students only have half an hour's worth of work, then they don't have to start stay in there for that period of time. At Garforth Academy, we recognise that an attendance, good attendance plays a very important part in children's success. We have an academy target of 97%, and I'm really, really pleased to say that our Year 7 students generally um, are the top achievers in terms of attendance and we usually exceed this target. We do ask that if your child is absent that you do contact us as early as possible on the first morning of their absence. It's really important that we know where the young people are. If you don't contact us it means we will have to contact you and obviously that means that there's vital time um, wasted on a morning. We do not authorise any holidays during term time. However, if this is something that you are wishing to request, it must be done in writing. And there is a leave of absence form that's available from our reception or your child can collect that from their form tutor. Social media plays a really important part in all of our lives and young people seem to know a lot more about it than, than people my age certainly do. Unfortunately, many of the incidents that we have here at the Academy do involve social media and, and typically happen when parents and carers are not aware of the sites that they're accessing or the people they're talking to or the kind of things they're saying on there. The link that I've put on here, the Think You Know by Up, is a really good and useful tool to have a look at. In addition to this, we do subscribe to the Safeguarding app, which I will send you all the details to in September when the young people start with us. I do recommend uh, installing this on your phone. It's a really useful way of finding out about all the different uh, social media sites that they're accessing, the ones that are popular at the moment, how you can make sure their privacy settings are set correctly, and having those conversations, please, with the children about who they're talking to, what they're accessing, and making sure that anything that they say and do online is something that they would be happy to do in front of yourselves, in front of us as school staff as well. So please, can you have those conversations? They're suddenly going to be going from a school where they maybe had 30 friends in their class to a year group of having 300 friends. They do very quickly make lots of friends. They do set up some, uh, some groups so they can talk to each other, which is great. But please make sure they're doing it sensibly and responsibly and making sure that from the start, you're keeping a close eye on things and you know what they're accessing. This is the homepage from the Think You Know website. As you can see, there are different sections catering for different ages, for different students and for parents and carers. Please do have a look around the site. There's some really useful information on there. Now more than ever, it's really important that we all look after our mental health. Here at Garforth Academy, we are committed to making sure we support all the young people in our care. On this slide you'll find just a few of the um, really good mental health advice groups that are out there specifically for young people. Please do have a look at those online. 
If you want to look at the Garforth Academy website under the safeguarding links, you will also find a lot of other information. If you do feel that you need extra support, please do not hesitate to contact me here at the Academy. Welcome. My name is Mrs Nesbitt and I am proud to work as part of the support team at Garforth Academy. Here at Garforth Academy we have many students with lots of different needs. Some students have support for their medical needs, some have mentoring or wellbeing checks. Other students may access interventions or teaching assistance support in the classroom. Our team help to provide resources for lots of different learning styles. You may be someone who has difficulty with literacy or numeracy. You may be someone who does not feel confident or may have dyslexia or autism. Over the last few months, we have been busy working with your primary school so that we have all the information of how to support you. This is so that your time at Garforth Academy is enjoyable and successful. Should you need support or are worried about something, you can find us in room 38. We are really looking forward to welcoming you to Garforth Academy. The extended services team here at the Academy is run by Mrs Elliot. We have a range of different programmes and events uh, for our young people to be involved with. There's a breakfast club that uh, students can attend before school. We have a number of after school programmes. The timetable for those will be sent out to you shortly after the students join us. There's a holiday programme. Unfortunately, that won't be running this year due to um, the coronavirus outbreak. However, hopefully it will be back on next year. And it's a whole host of lovely days out to the seaside, to theme parks. We have trips to the go-karting. We go to Yeadon Tarn. We do lots of different exciting things uh, that the young people can get involved with during the holidays. They offer student and family support. We have a, a team there who will work with yourselves, work with the young people. We offer counselling and mentoring. Um, and again, if you need any support, please do contact us or contact Mrs Elliot directly. We're more than happy to talk through um, any issues or any concerns that you may have and look at what's going to be the most appropriate support for you and your family. There is a uniform grant that's offered uh, for those in receipt of free school meals. Again, please contact Mrs Elliot at Extended Services um, or myself here at the Academy via our school reception. They do offer Family Links nurturing groups, which are a range of groups offered throughout the year. Again, any concerns or any queries that you may have, or if you'd just like a little bit more information about what we can offer you, please do not hesitate to get in touch. We offer a range of international opportunities for our students. These have ranged in the past from visits to South Africa, India, Spain, America. Uh, certainly I was involved in the, the ski trip with our years 12 students to America. We run that every two years and that's a fantastic trip. There have been trips to Russia, there's a yearly trip to Belgium and to France. And we keep adding to this list so every year there's something new, a new offer available. So please do encourage your young people to be involved and to get out there and see the world. I've had a number of queries regarding September and what the arrangements will be for our New Year 7 starters. Unfortunately, at this moment in time, I'm unable to give you an answer. We are listening to government guidance and hopefully that will come through soon regarding what we can do for transition. As soon as we have an answer, I will be in touch and I will let you know. Please do check your emails and check the Garforth Academy website regularly for any updates. The pack that we sent out back in March did ask you to return the yellow forms when the students came in on their liaison day. Obviously that's not going to happen now and I really, it is really crucial that we get those yellow forms back so we can make sure we've got the correct and up-to-date information on our systems for when the students start with us. Could I please ask if you haven't already returned the yellow form that you do that as soon as you can. They can be dropped into reception at the academy or they can be posted out to us as well. But if I could please ask that you do that as soon as possible, uh, that will allow us to make sure we're, we're prepared and we've got everything ready for September. I know all the students are anxious about what form group they will, they will be in and that's something that we do usually tell them about when they come to us for the activity days. The form groups are being collated. We do have uh, some new form tutors already and allocated and raring to go and meet the students. Um, this will, the information will be sent to you through the post along with their parent pay letters. The parent pay letters are individual to each student so their name will be on there and there will be a series of codes and passwords so that you can access their account and put lunch money and things on there. So that, they will be with you before the end of the term along with information for your young person regarding which form group they'll be in and what their form tutor will be called. So that's it from me. I, found, I hope you found this presentation uh, helpful and I hope it's been able to answer some of the questions that you may have. 
I've really enjoyed looking through all the transition work that you've been putting together for me and I will be putting some, some questions and answers together and getting those out to you before we break up for the summer. So from me, I hope you do all have a really restful summer. I hope you manage to enjoy some of the outside. Um, obviously now that uh, the lockdown is easing a little bit that you can uh, go out and meet up with family and friends and enjoy the next few weeks. I'm really looking forward to meeting you all, hopefully in September. Uh, take care of yourselves and enjoy.